Hey guys, action by thought here. I'm Chris. I don't normally do this with where you can't see my eyes because that's part of communications, but it's a nice, beautiful, bright, sunny day, and I need the glasses on. So, anyway, this is a short one. If you want to experience something that a lot of people say you have to be delusional for, and if it takes me being delusional, to experience this again, I'll just be delusional. I'm not delusional. I'm a Christian, and I'm trying my best to submit myself to God, my life to God. My life is not my own. If, since I accepted Christ in my heart, if you want to experience in a situation that God puts you in, we'll say it's witnessing, well, it's usually going to be witnessing in some form or another. Words come out of your mouth that you had no idea, not only no idea that were that you were fixing to say, sometimes it doesn't even sound like the emotion that you're having at the time. Submit to God. Act in obedience to God. And pray that God would speak through you through the Holy Spirit. Does it sound like some kind of whatever? I mean, whatever description you want to give. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm here to tell you it's the truth. And it is the most awesome thing to see. Especially when, let's say it's a... Especially when the situation and there's some something said to you that normally what you... And actually in the moment, what you really want to do is punch them right in the nose and knock their head off. I am not encouraging that. I'm saying we've all been in that situation. I'm just being honest. We've all been there where we wanted to knock somebody out. Don't do that. I mean, self-defense is one thing. I'm not talking about self-defense. But instead... The Holy Spirit takes over because you've had your life submitted to God as a Christian. And He speaks through you. He takes the words that you were going to say, the thoughts you, that you had away, and He speaks through you and come to find out there is a remarkable witness that God is using you for to this person that just said something terrible to you. But then God gives you the words and you find out that there's something going on with them. That's one scenario. The bottom line, in any given time, the Holy Spirit will hold your tongue and then grace your tongue with what God wants you to say in that moment. Try it. But the first thing you got to do is have Jesus in your heart. You've got to be saved. And then you've got to submit and resist the devil. Resist your own thoughts and ways and let God empty yourself of you. Let God fill yourself. You Let God fill you with him. And you'll be You'll be blessed for it. You'll also be very surprised sometimes the words that come out of your mouth, but you'll even be more surprised at the results of those words. Anyway, guys, I love you in Christ, but God loves you, and that's the part that counts. Later on, amigos, amigas.